Suttering John, uh, I guess, doxed uh, Kevin's wife, and uh, he was pretty obnoxious about it. I saw a little bit of it today, and he's trying to walk it back. And this is where I stand on all of this. Like, John, I tried. I really did try. I, I, I went out of my way in AC to squash it with you. I shook your hand. You told me to apologize. And I just said, sorry. I don't know. First, first of all, I don't know what the guy apologized for. I mean, you're the guy who struck my channel twice. But I just, it was a nice event. I just wanted to go along because I don't, I didn't hate stuttering John. I still don't hate the guy, but I think what he's doing is fucked up. It's wrong. He goes from zero to a thousand and I'm not a guy who piles on and I'm not going to be doing the stuttering John content show now, but he's the same guy. He shows up to a fight with a bazooka. Like he has to like go full nuclear. And then he, he's on a show today saying he contacted his wife on LinkedIn, sent her a message. It's just like. John, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Well, Kevin said this. Kevin Kevin says a lot of shit, but did, does he do anything? Did he do anything? You could say a lot of shit. I said a lot of shit. It was like going back to with Steel Toe when I said I was going to fuck April. In retrospect, I could have, I guess. I didn't realize it, but I said I was going to Stoney's for their party. And it, it doesn't, it, we're just saying shit. We're talking shit. And you got such thin skin that you have to go go after Kevin's wife and say her name on the show docs her, her where, she, where she works. It's just like, dude, let it go, man. Let it go. Who gives a f dude? And I, and I do mean this, John, and I, I'm going to say this right now. You can deny it all you want, but I know for a fact, I inspired you. I know because when Carl and everyone was piling on Anthony, you ran and hid from the internet. You ran and you, you taught you were a teacher. And then when they start coming after me, I fought back. I fought them all, all Kumia's cucks. I went after them. And you saw me from afar. You were watching from afar. And you saw me take them down one by one. You saw me take them all down. And I was making money. You're watching Brennan make money. And I took these motherfuckers down. I took them all down. And then you came back. We gave you a, a large amount of money to come on the program. Kevin's program and my program. And now you're grifting our audience every day, repeating yourself. And you're screaming, trying to be like Kevin. You call yourself the Duke, which you know you got from the Mud Shark. I, I've been doing that for over a year, the Mud Shark. And now you're the Duke. Where did you get that idea? Where'd you get that idea? I believe on Stern. Uh, there was a clip of uh, him saying you copy him when you went on the Tonight Show. You're trying to be shock jock. So you're copying people, and we're the ones who inspired you. So you can go full nuclear on me now. I don't give a shit. I don't give a f Go ahead. Who gives a f I don't hate you. I'm not going to make you my daily content, but you're pretty obnoxious, you got to admit, and you need to just back the f off, Kevin's wife. And, I'm, and you're like, oh, you... You're kissing up to Kevin Brennan. He, he gives you a hundo, hundo an episode. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Kevin, or uh, yeah, uh, John, I am. Because before you even knew who I was, I was on Kevin's show. I wore many hats on that show for a lot of years. You know, of course, Kevin and I, we've had our dust ups and disagreements, but hey, we got over it. We move on. You know, but I'm a part of the fabric of MLC for a long time. I'm a part of it. I'm a part of that world a large portion a large chunk of my audience came from that world from all the shows we did all the way back when it was uh at the comic strip and then on burning bridges i was a part of all of that calling in from los angeles when i lived there so yeah i, I i'm not gonna be like ray devito and piss it away i'm not going to i'm not it's dumb and you brag about not paying guests oh good for you Kevin's dumb. He pays gas. Yeah, it's pretty generous, dude. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool to uh, go on a program and get paid for it. So I don't know what to tell you, man. And, you know, but anyway, so John, listen, this is, this is what it is. You, you take shit way too far. You do, you do. And now you're trying to walk it back. I have an idea. Don't contact Kevin's wife on LinkedIn. Leave her alone. Don't talk about her job. Don't talk about her name. Just leave it alone. You, you have no business talking about that. He talks about my mom. He didn't say anything about your mom. 
You said you abused your mom. Who cares? You don't always have to get revenge. It's like, it's obnoxious, dog. It's like, then you're going nuclear on me. It's just like, you can't, dude, you're a lot. You're a lot to deal with. You're a lot. You're overwhelming. You're overwhelming to deal with on the phone. And I don't even hate you. I know you're going to go full nuclear on me. Can't stomach the zomach. You're probably, uh, but think about it, John. The reason why I brought that up, because I saw, I saw what you were doing to Kevin's wife and it brought back all these memories of the shit you pulled on me. You called the Tampa police department on me. You struck my channel twice for what? Cause I was goofing on you. I was goofing on the hypocrisy police show. So you struck my channel. I haven't forgotten about that. I mean, I was forgetting about it. I was going to move on. It's, ah, it's in the past, but you, you, you brought back all these memories of you being a douchebag. Are you going to strike my channel because I put that photo up now? It's just like, dude, it's okay. Everyone doesn't have to get along. You don't always have to get revenge. I mean, you have to, you're always trying to get revenge. It's un, It's unbelievable. I mean... I'm with you on the Kate Meany stuff. I think she's a, a a total attention. She totally like was uh leading us on with the nude photos and sex talk and all that. But uh I'm not calling her mom trying to get her in trouble. It's just like leave it alone. Gonzo, thanks for the two bucks. Oh, I better not do that or John's gonna strike me. I say thanks for the two bucks. That's what I say. Gonzo, hashtag Chad Nation for life. Yeah, next thing you know, he's going to be doing uh, TM Zumok, right? I get to trust, uh, test the new sounder. Are you ready? <laughs> Yay. Now, how do I get off the screen? Speaking of uh, Ray DeVito, holy shit, where is he? Where did Ray DeVito go? If you were to tell me that Ray DeVito would run from podcasting. They're like, I bet you a hundred dollars. Ray's going to stop podcasting. I would have taken that bet. I would say, no way. He's he'll never stop. Ray will never stop podcasting because I know his personality and I know how Ray is. He's addicted to the drama, the super chats. He has to go live every night. Punks. I mean, I, I mean, we, we all said he should take a break. He was way overexposed. Uh, the internet was completely turning on him. He has zero control over his show. His guests are trolling him. His chat's trolling him. And I don't know who got in his ear, but Ray's nowhere to be found. Ray's nowhere to be found. But I'm hearing from a lot of people as of late, and uh, one of my sources, they can confirm it or deny it, that Ray will be coming back because he heard Chandler's back in business. Chandler's been popping around. So Ray's going to figure it. He's going to come back because he knows Chandler's back. And that's what I heard. 